What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to create your Shopify store. We all know that when it comes to actually making and designing a Shopify store, sometimes it can get a little bit complicated. A lot of us don't necessarily know what colors go with each other, matching these different colors, making sure that all of the sections are optimized, everything looks good, everything is legible. It, it, it can be a lot, to be honest with you. This is one of those things that sometimes it's better left to the experts if you don't know what you're doing. Now, with that being said, today we're going to be using AI to build our store for us. So we're going to be using Build Your Store's AI system to be able to come up with a pre-built Shopify store in our niche. Now, really quick, just quickly touching up on the subject about niches. As always, I highly suggest that you go with a niche that is familiar to you. So that way, it's easier for you to start conducting better product research because you know what works and what doesn't. Now, before we do go ahead and get started, as always, I'm going to have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different tips, tricks, and the entire walkthrough of what I'm going through in today's video. And if you want access to that, just go ahead and drop a comment down below with the hashtag build your store. And let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need to do is run over to buildyourstore.ai and we're going to go to build my free store. Next, we're going to go ahead and register. And then our store is going to start to be built for us. Now, next up, we need to go ahead and select a niche. In this case, I'm going to go with something easy. So I'm just going to do fashion and apparel. Go ahead and click on done. Then we're going to choose a banner. My suggestion in this case is going to be to go ahead and choose a banner that's going to fit mostly what you're envisioning or what you're thinking the theme for your store is going to be. So in this case, I'm going to go with something that's going to be a bit more niched towards, let's say, the tropical climates. So I'm going to go with this one and this one right here. Go ahead and click on done. All right, so now we're going to be going back and forth from Shopify and build your store for a little bit. So what we're going to do here is just simply click on access Shopify. Now, at this part, it's imperative that you click on the link that you have through build your store. The reason for this is because if you don't, you might not get access to the one dollar promotion for one month. Then after we click on access Shopify, it's going to take us over here to the Shopify sign up page. Just go ahead and type in our email and click on start free trial. At this part, you can really just go ahead and click skip all. This part, though, you are going to have to go ahead and select. So where is your dropshipping business going to be located in? In my case, it's the US. Go ahead and create a Shopify account. I'm going to sign up with my email. All right, so once we're past the sign up process, we're going to run back over to build your store and then we're going to click on done. So next up, what we're going to have to do is run back over to Shopify. And while we're on this home page on our dashboard, we're going to go ahead and take our link that's up here. We're going to cut it. Or we're going to copy it. I like to go ahead and cut it simply because it gives me a better visual representation that I actually did do it and run back over to build your store or BYS. I might say BYS as interchangeable. Just go ahead and paste it in there and then click on save. Once that's done, go ahead and click on done. Then we're going to click on access Shopify again. And this part is very important. At this stage, we do need to select a plan. If we don't have a plan, then we're not going to be able to continue any further. So let's go ahead and sign up for our dollar trial. All right. So once we have that done and over with, go ahead and subscribe. Now let's go ahead and set our business address. I like to do that now because later on, this does factor into their shipping prices. So might as well just get it out of the way now. Now, once we're subscribed and ready to go, we have to go back to BYS or build your store and then click on done one more time. Now we need to install the build your store app over at our Shopify page. Now, this is really easy. All you simply have to do is simply click on install app. And then at this point, just go ahead and click on install once more. All right. So at this point, we're pretty much done when it comes to setting up our store. So all we have to do is simply click on customize my store and the actual AI is going to build the store for us. Now, with our pre-built store, we also have five winning dropshipping products that are automatically added to our stores. So for this, what we need to do is install AutoDS. Now, for this part, what we're going to do is simply click on register to AutoDS. Then we're just going to go ahead and sign in through here. Make sure you go ahead and join. Now we're going to select our selling channel. In this case, it's going to be Shopify. And then we're going to select our plan. Now we do suggest that you go with the starter 500 plan because you're going to have access to a lot of different features. But to get started, you can go ahead and start with the basic 200. So when signing up through build your store, you actually do get a special promotion of 30 days for free for your free trial. Now, once that part's done, the next thing you have to do is go ahead and connect your store to your auto DS. So from here, what you have to do is simply go up here and it'll either say add store if you're brand new or if you already have an auto DS account, then it'll give you your store name and then you can click on add store once more. And then we're going to select our Shopify store. Go ahead and continue. And then you're going to choose the first option. I have a Shopify store connected to AutoDS. 
Then it's going to take you to the Shopify app store where all you have to do is simply click on install and it'll be installed and everything will start to synchronize between your Shopify store and your AutoDS account. So once you have that done, just go ahead and click on done once more. And at this point, you're pretty much done building your entire store. But now there is an extra added bonus for you. So because you are signing up through Build Your Store and you're going to be using AutoDS to fulfill your orders and automate your dropshipping business, you have access to a special promotion with TikTok ads. So check this out. This is actually very, very helpful and it's going to help you insanely with your marketing. So if you spend $300 in ads, you're actually going to get $600 in credits. Same thing goes if you do 600, it's going to double to 1200. And if you do 1200, it's going to double to 2400. So you're essentially going to be getting double the ads. And that in itself is going to be a huge help to help put your products in front of the eyes of brand new customers. Now to do this, all you have to do is go ahead and click on get free ad credits and claim your offer through here. Now, once you're done with that, if you decide to opt in for that special promotion, just go ahead and click on done. Now we are going to run back over to Shopify one more time because this next step is going to be the last one that we need to do. And for this, the only thing that we're going to have to do is to remove our password to access the store. So under here where it shows password protection, just go ahead and uncheck that and click on save. Once more back over to build your store, click done. And that's it. Our store is live. Go ahead and access your store and you can take a tour. This is going to be our AI pre-built dropshipping store. And as you can see, everything's already set up for us. So we have all of the different tabs. We have our home page, our new arrivals, which is going to have all of our different products that were imported through AutoDS. We're going to have a contact us section and a section to track your order. If you scroll down, you can see the different banners that we chose. As you can see, it does give it kind of a tropical feel to it. For me, this is perfect because I live in South Florida, so it all kind of goes together. Then you keep scrolling down. You have your new arrivals with the different products that were imported. Then you have a review section. Now these reviews are generic reviews and they're going to be for the store itself, not for the products themselves. But either way, this is really good and it provides a very nice piece of social proof. And last but not least, at the very bottom, you have your footer where you're going to have all of the different pages that really take forever to create, such as your shipping, your return policy, your terms and conditions, your about us and all that stuff. Now, from here, the next thing that's very important to do is going to be to go ahead and customize it to your liking or to customize it to whatever you had envisioned. So chances are you're not going to go with this logo, so we can go ahead and change that. Same thing goes if let's say we go to the shipping policy. We want to change some of this information because let's say for our order processing, it might not take us one to two business days or it might not take our supplier one to two business days. It might take more. It might be three to four business days. So this is really entirely up to you and your business. So in this case, go ahead and go through the different policy pages, including your shipping, your returns, your about us, your frequently asked questions, and make any necessary changes. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that really fast. It's very simple. All you have to do is run over to your Shopify dashboard, click on the online store. Let's go ahead and click on customize. And then as an example, let's go ahead and scroll down and let's do our shipping policy. So here under the shipping policy, we can go ahead and click our page over here. And on the right hand side, we can change this. So instead of one to two business days, let's do three to five business days, just to give us a little bit of extra. So as you can see here, it already changed. Let's go ahead and go down to see what else we can find. Standard shipping typically takes between four business days while expedited takes about eight. When you see this part, this is another reason why we need to go ahead and make sure that we read through things because that is actually flipped. Standard should be eight business days while expedited should be four business days. And you keep scrolling through and then down here. Thank you for choosing your store name. This is where we can go ahead and change that as well. So always make sure you go ahead and choose it. Fashionista, let's just go ahead with that. And then as you can see, everything gets updated in real time. So once we're done and we have everything changed to the way that we need it to be, all we have to do is click on save. Now, this last thing I'm going to show you to customize is going to be your logo. This one's going to be very important because not everyone's going to have the same logo. So let's go ahead and click up here on our header. And then here you can see that it tells you to edit your logo in the theme settings. To me, this is the easiest way to get there. So click on theme settings. And then over here, you have your logo. So you can just simply go ahead and click on change. You can either select from your library and upload your own. Now, I don't have an actual logo for this. I didn't create one. So I'm just uploading a random image or a random name. So we're just going to go ahead with that for now. And as you can see, it went ahead and changed it. So now our store is called Belkis. Once we're satisfied with everything, we can simply just go ahead and click on save and their store is going to be good to go. Now, you don't want to leave your store just the way it is, right? You want to make sure that you add more products so that way you can start making some more sales. So to help you out with this, we already have AutoDS. We have the trial installed, so we're going to take advantage of that. So all we have to do is run back over to AutoDS 
And then we're gonna go to my personal favorite, the handpicked product section. This section is gonna be filled with tons of different products in a variety of niches that are all handpicked by expert dropshippers using a specific criteria. There's a specific criteria in mind when choosing these different products. So for this, we're gonna run over to the clothing, shoes, and jewelry section, because that's what our niche is. And then from here, we can pick and choose what we wanna to import to our store, what works with our store. Let's go ahead and check this one out really quick. This one looks like it might work. So this is a women's shapewear top waist trainer. So this could be something that could go well in our store. This is pretty much just a compression top. And as we can see, it only costs $4.60 with $1.99 shipping. I'm thinking about Spanx right now because Spanx, they really do the same thing. They're compression and they typically run about 40 to about $60. So with something like this, you can have some pretty good profit margins. But as we can see really quick, let's check it out. It's being sold for about $48.34, this same one. So it is comparing to Spanx pricing. Now we have a saturation score of about 60, so it's kind of busy. There's a little bit of buzz around this on the market. There's a few people selling it. And then in terms of our engagement score, it's actually very active. There's a lot of people talking about this on social media. There's a lot of people interacting with the different posts and the different ads. So this could very well be worth drop shipping. This could be worth adding to our store. And in order to do this, all we have to do is go ahead and click on import draft. Once we do that, it'll be added to our draft section where we can make any necessary edits in terms of the title, the description and the pricing before actually having it go live on our store. Now, remember that promotion that I talked about for the TikTok ads? Well, if you don't know how to make TikTok ads or how to create content for TikTok ads, check this out. On the same page, you can go to the social ads section and click on TikTok. And here you have a few different ads that are running, promoting this same product. So take this one, for example, you can go ahead and take this as an example and you can easily recreate it. Something like this is very easy to make. You can either do it yourself or you can simply send a product like this to an influencer who will make this for you. And then they can do a perfect video just like this one that shows exactly how the product works and it shows it in action. Okay, so there's one last thing that I need to show you before I let you go. And this is gonna be the last thing that you really need to take care of before actually having your store go live and promoting it. Because if you don't do this last step, then you're not gonna get absolutely any sales, even if you have a lot of traffic, simply because people are not gonna be able to check out. So what you need to do is on the search bar, just go ahead and look up payments. And you can click on the first link up here, Shopify payments payout schedule, or whatever you see that has to do with payments and it'll take you to this section. Now on here, you need to complete your account setup for Shopify payments. If you don't do that, you're not gonna be able to accept payments. So you can't get paid, which means customers are not gonna be able to check out. So always make sure that you complete the account setup through here. And as an added bonus, just go ahead and enable PayPal as well. Besides that, that's pretty much everything you need to know to get started with Build Your Store and easily create your dropshipping store using AI pre-built stores in less than two to five minutes. So what did you think of today's video? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, just go ahead and leave a comment with the hashtag build your store and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means the world to me. Please make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.